Hi, and welcome to Miss Nancy's house, where we can play and learn together. Today, I thought we would take some of the gourds that I got at the orchard and try to cut them in half and maybe make prints with them. I was wondering, do you think the inside of this gourd is going to be green and orange? I don't know. Let's see. It's kind of a bumpy skin that it has on it. The rind on it is very bumpy. It's kind of interesting. Let's see. This is very tough skin. So I'm gonna have to really try to be careful. You might want to get a grown up to help you with this job. Let's see, I cut through it. Ooh! This bumpy skin is tough. Look, I even broke a piece off. The top is kind of white and orange on the inside. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my, do you see inside it has these little tiny seeds? But on the green part, it's not green on the inside. It's still like this whitish color. I guess it's a little bit of a shade of a green. And the seeds go grow right inside. I can just take my finger and pluck them out. And that's what the whole thing looks like on the inside. That's interesting. Let's try another one. Maybe this time I'll try a teeny tiny pumpkin. This rind is easier to cut through. seeds on the inside too. You can just pull them right out. Okay, so those look kind of the same on the inside. I wonder what this green gourd or pumpkin is going to look like on the inside. Do you think it'll be green with green seeds or orange? It has some orange on it. Or do you think it'll look like this on the inside? Let's see if we can figure this out. I'm so excited, I wanna see if it's green. Let's see if I can cut over here. Ooh. This is definitely probably a grown-up's job because it's really hard to cut through these. And I don't want anyone to get hurt by cutting their fingers. Let's see, oh, oh, I can pull it apart. Is it green on the inside? No, no it's not. It's just got a tiny bit of green around the outside where I cut it. It's very interesting. 
So I think what we'll do is take our gourds and we'll get some paint and some paper and see if we can make some prints with these gourds. I wonder what it'll look like. We'll have to see. Let's get ready. All right, I have all of my paint and my gourds cut. And so I got some paper plates and paint brushes and paper to see what happens. I think the first color I'll use is green. Let's see what happens with the green. Spread that around on the paper or on the paint. Take my gourd pumpkin and dip it in. And do you see? Let's see what it looks like on the paper. Oop! There it goes. I'm going to try some more with this green paint. I wonder what this one will turn out like. Such a bumpy, bumpy gourd. I can't even get the paint on it. Maybe if I go with my paintbrush and spread it around. Ooh. It's kind of pretty. I like it. Let's see what That didn't make much of a print, did it? I'm going to try a different color. I like to make my pictures with a lot of color, but you can do it however you'd like. I'll spread my paint around on the paper. paper plate, I should say. I'm going to try the orange pumpkin with the seeds in it. See if it makes a print with the seeds, I wonder. No! Oh, it made a little bit of the seeds right there. I'm going to try orange. this big green one. I think I'm going to have to use my paintbrush. I should get just a little bit of that stem too to make it I think there's a little piece of the pumpkin. Could I have a knife so I can cut this part off? I'm gonna cut this little bit of a stem off. See if it shows up. A little bit. A little bit. You can see the outline of my gourds. I wanted to try to see if I could get the seeds, but it's so tricky. This is one of the trickiest things that I've ever done. I'm going to mix my paint together. Maybe put a little bit of orange and green and yellow. 
just to see what it turns out like. It almost made a brown color, didn't it? So this is something that you could do at your house. Make a picture with the gourds that you get outside or at the farmer's market or the grocery store. We can print with a lot of different foods that you might have. Maybe an orange or an apple. It's something very fun to do. Something fun to try at home. Thanks so much for coming today, and I hope you come again very soon to Miss Nancy's house. Bye-bye.